was a fan of jazz bass uh, in a very special edition because it has a tremolo system. So I, I bought it like it was a used bass already, but um, it had a tremolo system, so I could do some stuff that was pretty unusual because, um, yeah, like there is not a lot of music where you can use a tremolo system on a bass. So, uh, Maybe if you play some manual stuff like with distorted stuff, you can make you know, like some distorted weird sounds with it. But yeah. I didn't have a lot of usage for that. But it's a good bass. Fender Jazz Bass is a classic. And uh, after that, I switched to Ibanez and uh, had my first ADK. And then I joined uh, Obscura, my main band now. And uh, there, I started to play an uh, Ibanez uh, six-string bass and a B2B 676 that was customized to be fretless and. Uh, Later on, even a seven-string bass, the BTB7, a very good bass uh, that Ibanez also made fretless for me, and um, yeah, so I'm an Ibanez freak now. Yeah, my life setup uh, for Obscura consists of my mainly of my uh, of my BTB676 and my uh, seven-string bass that I use as a sub because most of the Obscura stuff I can play with the six-string bass. Um, I have a pedal board from Turman that I bought uh, recently, uh, uh, right in front of the stage, and where I have some pedals, like a chorus that I'm running all the time. Uh, I have an Octava that I use from time to time. Uh, I have a delay pedal, I have a tuner there, and uh, the new, it's pretty new actually, I think from uh, last year or something, uh, the Ampeg uh, the iBox. Uh, and I use this, it's a small box that's only one kilogram and uh, it's very useful because it's uh, because I can take it everywhere in the world to every flight show if it's Germany or Indonesia whatever where we play and I can take this little pedal board and have the same sound everywhere on the world so this is pretty amazing um, yeah and that's basically it uh, amp wise I use uh, Ampeg also because I with my uh, um, Fretless setup. I need a bass that is very. I need a sound with a, with a lot of pressure and with a lot of power. And uh, Ampeg is perfect for that uh, intention. So I uh, use mainly Ampeg. Uh, I love the MP, uh, Ampeg SVT4 and also the Ampeg uh, SVT7 that is very light and perfect for touring. I have some overdrive and distortion pedals, but I'm. Not a big fan of that sound because it's because you lose a tag in my opinion. Um, but there are still a lot of like there are re some only some very good pedals in my opinion, and I love delay pedals because uh, not a lot of bass players use delay pedals, and that's something that's pretty unique. Uh, bass players like Jeff Schmidt, for example, does amazing things with uh, uh, delay pedals, and I'm preparing a bass solo for the next Obscura tour in. Uh, in October, November, uh, we're gonna hit Europe, so uh, maybe you wanna come over. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm preparing a, a solo for that with a delay pedal. So I have the delay pedal, uh, a tuner would be a good thing, um, and a chorus. That's also something that makes a very full and warm sound for for bass melodies, especially. I don't. Only play heavy metal. I like a lot of other stuff as well. Play, especially funk music is uh, something that I enjoy a lot. You have so much possibilities on the bass with all the dead notes and uh, different rhythmical possibilities. That's something I enjoy a lot. And sometimes uh, I, I play very technical and complex music. And sometimes I enjoy just to hit some very raw and basic notes, like just eights, uh, like. Just simple lines, simple bass lines. That's something I enjoy a lot from time to time. Definitely your tail, definitely. Uh, if you spend a month with stinky heavy metal guys, yeah, definitely your tail. Oh, that's a difficult question. Uh, I enjoy both a lot. Uh, with Obscure, we just switched from uh, from wedges to uh, in your monitoring, and for that kind of complex music, where everything has to really to be on time and really like there is no, no laid back or, or like there's not a lot of 
uh, space in between um, notes rhythmical wise uh, so uh, for obscure it makes totally sense to play in ear to play, to be very exact with everything and to we need a very transparent sound on our ears so I enjoy that a lot but uh, if I play I don't know Sometimes I play with friends on biker parties or whatever, and then we play Metallica and Iron Maiden, and there I love to play on wedges because it's just more physical, like I said before, like that feeling when when the sound of a guitar and the bass blows you away on stage. It's then you can feel it in your whole body. It's something that I love a lot. I need a wireless system because if I play, I play in small clubs, that I always have the cables around my feet and then it's getting dangerous. Uh, if I'm on a festival then I want to run on stage and be everywhere so definitely wireless. Uh, in Obscura we play in, in both bands actually. I play in also in Alkaloid, my other band. Uh, I play everything a whole step down. Um, it works pretty well on a like that's also the tuning of the guitars, but it's also good for the bass because it's like you have that very percussive sound and the strings are very, uh, they don't have a lot of tension, so they are very percussive and very heavy when I hit them hard. So that's what I love about that sound of the whole step down. Very uh, thick strings from uh, 100 35 to depending like and then it's going high depending on how many uh, many strings I play uh, but yeah I'm it's important to me not to go lower actually than than in deep A uh, because I don't like the the concept of going lower and lower and lower like the seventh string that I use is one uh, one additional string higher and not lower like what other people uh, what other people do and it's kind of a trend that guitars uh, are, are getting uh, are having more and more deep strings but I'm not a big fan of that because I think that's because uh, I think that's not more heavy than a seven string guitar or a five string bass uh, I think it's you lose just attack and tension and power and uh, I don't enjoy that kind of trend actually.